What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're taking a look at a brand new Z87 motherboard made for the Haswell platform. It's from Asus and it is their Maximus 6 Hero which is part of the Republic of Gamers line. There's so many features in this motherboard so let's just go ahead and check it out. The Maximus 6 Hero comes in Asus's normal ROG box, so it has a logo really big here, Maximus 6 Hero. Let's just know this is designed for gamers. Of course, Republic of Gamers boards are made for gamers. So it lets us know that it is NVIDIA SLI ready as well as AMD Crossfire ready. On the back here, they will go into pretty much a lot of detail on a lot of the main features, such as the Supreme FX, Extreme Engine Digi 3, SLI Crossfire X as well as Sonic Radar. Also, there is a full list of specifications here. So you have all your specifications for everything right here, as well as a layout of the back IO ports. You know, that's important for a lot of people. You know, maybe you have five USB devices and you need five ports on the back or something along those lines. You can kind of see the whole layout of the IO right there. So it just gives you an idea of what you're gonna get before you buy the product. Talking about what you're gonna get before you buy the product, this actually opens up here as I flip it over. It's already opened there. It opens up for you so you can actually see the motherboard before you buy it. When you open up that top flap, it's actually gonna have a lot of information here. So it's gonna go over a lot of the more, you know, really hardcore features that you're gonna get with this board, such as the Supreme FX, the Game First 2, which is the game software for the ethernet adapter that will speed up that ethernet adapter during different games. You can set profiles, things like that. RAM disk, which is a new add-on of this generation of Republic of Gamers boards, which we're gonna get into in the review. And of course, the Extreme Engine Digi Plus 3. Now it's time to get inside, of course, everybody wants to see what's all included with this board. So it should open up pretty easily here. And of course you have the board on top. That's what's gonna be on top. So I wanna take that out first. And of course we're gonna go over that in detail um, secondly here. So we'll put that right there. And we have a bunch of things here. We have our IO shield, put that down there. We have our uh, connectors here, our header connectors. This thing, this is one thing that I've always loved about Asus motherboards for years now. They have the headers, um, this one is for USB and then this one is for your front panel connections. This means you can easily connect your front panel connections to this and then all you have to do is plug this into the header on the motherboard. It's labeled, um, it just makes it so much easier. One of the best things I love about Asus boards. You have one, two, three bags of SATA port or SATA cables and there are two cables in each um, in each bag. Put those out. Um, we have our SLI connector, single SLI connector. It does say Republic of Gamers on the back, which is actually pretty cool. We have our SATA uh, labels here. So you can actually label your SATA cables. Um, just makes it easier, especially if you have a really large array of hard drives, you can label all those. those are, these are just stickers that you can put on there. Um, you have your Do Not Disturb Champion in Action door hanger here. So if you're in the middle of a game, you can uh, put it this way. And if you're not, you can, of course, put it that way. And we do have our user's guide here. So um, very big user's guide. Again, these boards have a lot of stuff. So user's guide is of course important. And then inside we do have our uh, driver CD, which has all of our drivers, utilities, and all of that stuff, as well as a little case emblem. I'm not sure if you can see that in there, but there is a case emblem inside as well. The Maximus 6 Hero has the same color scheme that we've seen on pretty much every Republic of Gamers motherboard. So it's gonna have an all black PCB, and then you're gonna have black, red, white, and a little bit of silver right here on the uh, PCH heatsink. So those are the colors. It's one of the best color schemes that we've seen. Of course, it's been around for a long time as well. So it's gonna look really, really great. As far as heat sinks on the board, as I said, you have a heat sink color covering the PCH right here. And it does have an ASUS logo as well as a Republic of Gamers logo. Up top, you have those two heat sinks right there and they're connected by a heat pipe and they're right on top of your power delivery components. Of course, at the center of the board, you have Intel's LGA 1150 socket. It supports all of the brand new Intel Haswell processors. 
Um, you have an eight phase, all digital power design. It's using the newly designed black wing chokes as well as the 10K black metallic capacitors. At the top of the board, power is brought into the CPU by way of an eight pin connector. You have your CPU optional fan connector, which is a four pin connector. And then you have your CPU fan connector, which is also a four pin connector. But you'll notice this little piece right here. Um, it's really hard to see, but what that is, it's a MOSFET. And what that does is it's gonna detect whether you have a three pin fan or a four pin fan um, installed as your CPU fan. And what that's actually gonna do is it enables you to control the speed of your CPU fan, whether it's a three pin or four pin. That's kind of interesting because the Z77 motherboards allowed you to do this on a four pin connection, but a three pin connection like older fans or fans that might come with water cooling or something like that, we're not able to do that. With this you are, whether it's a three pin or a four pin. Moving along to the memory slots, you have four memory slots and they are color coded black and red. Let you know what channels to put memory in if you're only using two DIMMs as opposed to all four DIMMs. It does support up to 32 gigabytes of DDR3 memory and that can go all the way up to 2800 megahertz. Of course that is overclocked, but that's what this will support. You have your debug LED right here. You have your memo K button. You have start and reset buttons. You have another fan connector and is a four pin fan connector. You have your 24 pin ATX power connector and you have your USB 3.0 header right here. As far as storage goes, the Z87 chipset will give you six SATA 6 gig ports. So those are the first six right here. And then the N2 are provided by ASUS and those are also SATA 6 gig ports. All of the rest of your connections and buttons are located along the bottom of the board here. So starting out, you have your front panel connection right here. You have a four pin fan header. You have a direct key button. And what that actually does is say you need to get into your BIOS or something like that. Even if you're with, even if you're in windows or loaded into your operating system, you're going to hit that button and it's going to shut down your system. So the next time you turn your system on, it's going to load directly into your BIOS without having to hit that delete key. You have your clear CMOS jumper. You have a USB header. You have your ROG extension headers, you have your TPM header, and then you have your HD audio headers. One thing that's great about ASUS's ROG boards is their dedicated Supreme FX chip. And what this is, is a dedicated eight-channel audio chip that's gonna give you the same quality of sound you would get from a discrete audio card. What they do is they put it on the board so you don't have to take up an extra slot for sound card. And what they also do to you know eliminate that interference and all that, they actually cut out a section of the board. You can see the cutout right here. Um, goes all along the audio channel right here. And that is actually a full different PCB from the rest of the motherboard. On top of that, the chip itself has an EMI shield on top that's gonna eliminate all of that audio interference. As far as expansion slots go, you have two PCI Express 3.0 X16 slots. Now, if you have a single card installed on the top slot right here, it's gonna run at X16 speed, but if you have two cards installed, both of those slots will run at X8 speeds. You have three PCI Express 2.0 X1 slots, and you have a single PCI Express 2.0 X4 slot. You also have a four pin fan header right here. That's normally gonna be used for your exhaust fan on your case. As far as your rear IO goes, you have your legacy PS2 port, you have four USB 2.0 ports, your BIOS flashback button, you have optical, HDMI, four USB 3.0 ports, gigabit ethernet, which is the Intel NIC, and it's been upgraded since the last revision of ROG. So they're, new, they're using the new Intel i-series network adapters, and you do have eight channel audio. So this wraps up our unboxing and overview of ASUS's Maximus 6 Hero Z87 motherboard. Make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review, which will include all the benchmarks and all of that fun stuff. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Thanks for watching.